Hi, I miss crafts a lot, and this is Get Your Craft On, yo! Today, I know this is going to sound kind of strange, but we're going to paint bird houses today. I'm just going to show you a couple simple techniques that'll make your bird houses look beautiful. So the materials that you'll need to use is obviously a bird house, paint brushes, and of course, paint. And for later, glue and wood sealer. So I already have my paint in my little palette. This is this was for my 40th birthday. Oh. <laughs> anyway, we're just going to start painting this. We're going to paint it all over. So load up your brush with a good amount of paint and just paint. I'm going to start at the bottom. Work on the roof later. Of course, the wider your brush, the more coverage you get. Make sure you get this thing covered all the way, 100% painted. Some of these birdhouses are kind of rough, so if you need to, get some uh, fine uh, sandpaper and just give it a, a once-over with sandpaper to get a smooth surface. I got these birdhouses at Joann's. Now, they're, they're not really made for outdoor use, but I've got, I've got a solution to that, which that's why we need the wood sealer. So I've switched brushes so I can get uh, into the more more of the details of the birdhouse. Sometimes the foam brush is a little too big. So make sure you have plenty of paint brushes on hand in various sizes. This will be a fun project to do with your kids. Now I'm going to put this aside to let the paint dry. Notice I got, I covered the whole birdhouse even on the inside of the hole. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to bring out one that I already started. And I'm just going to decorate the roof. Kind of will look like this when I'm done. Kind of marbled and textured. It's a real simple process, kind of like the sponge painting I did in a previous episode, but this will be using a stipple uh, paintbrush rather than a sponge. So you need at least two colors. Choose whatever colors you like. You don't really need that much. If you haven't used your paints in a while, make sure you shake them up to get them all nice and mixed up. All right, this is a stipple brush. Very straight, actually that's kind of wet. Very straight and uh, very dry, and they, they're supposed to look like this. So you take your brush, and you just lightly dip it in all three colors. It doesn't matter if it gets mixed, that's okay. And then gently tap it on your in your palette to get the less goop. And it's okay if the if the paint colors mix. It's supposed to give that that uh, faux marble feathered look. So you take the brush and you just lightly tap it in random patterns. Looks 
I can use a little more white. And when your paintbrush goes gets gets dry, just dip it in the paint again, or you can go over a wet part and pick up that that extra wet part of the paint. So now that I have all my bird houses painted, I'm going to uh, kind of make a bird house condominium complex. I have a wood plank that's made out of the same wood as, as the bird houses. And I painted it earlier. And I'm going to uh, glue them with this glue called E600. It has multiple uses. It dries clear and is flexible and works very well. So I just have to decide where I'm going to place my little bird houses. Make sure that whatever paint that you have on your hands is dry before you touch anything else. This, I would imagine, would go in the front. And it's okay if it hangs over. I'm just going to place them where I'd like them first. I think that's pretty evenly spaced. And that's okay if this hangs off over the edge. That's, that's quite all right. Of course, you can get smaller bird houses that'll, you know, that'll fit. Okay. Now be careful when you use this, using a well-ventilated -venti area. It does have, mmm, glue. <laughs> I kid. Don't do that. So I'm just going to put the glue directly on the bottom of the birdhouse. You don't have to cover the entire surface, just get enough glue on there so it'll adhere. Ooh. Just stick it on there. Whoa! Party foul. This stuff is really gooping. So here we are with my birdie condo community. Now, you could put this outside, but uh, you need to seal it first with a, a nice wood sealer that um, is weather resistant, of course. Uh, I'm going to use, what is this stuff called? I'm going to use this super surface sealer. Can you say that five times fast? I know I can't. Now that I'm just smelling that glue. Phew. Uh, so, I'm going to take this outside and I'm going to uh, let this, you know, let the, the E600 cure, of course, and then I'm going to seal the whole thing and then I'm going to get Terry to mount it for me. Not that kind of mounting. Well, it's ready. I'm hoping some birds will move in there. <laughs> Be a shame if it didn't. So for a list of materials for this project, check out the materials list down below in the description. And as always, like if you like it, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.